Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. Something a little bit different today. This is a pair of Hilkin 8x40 binoculars. I would say around about 40 years old. And I'll come back onto them in a second. But just first of all a little thank you. It was only a couple of months ago I had around about 13,000 views a month on my YouTube channel. And now it's um, gone to around about 23,500. So thank you very much for watching and to all those that have subscribed. And I know that a number of you, including this week, have seen my reviews and uh, have made a purchase through our website. And hopefully once lockdown is over, you'll be able to come along to see us at our open days, at our optics weekend again. So, how did I find these? It's amazing, as the saying goes, what you find when you're not looking for it. And when I was looking for something else, what popped these? I got these when I was at school, when I was first interested in astronomy. And... Sir Patrick Moore, he recommended some 10x50s, 8x40s, 7x50 for a prism binoculars to get you started in astronomy. And these are what I picked, chosen, or what I was advised from the local shop. And I think that was about 15 quid. And after all this time, they're still in perfect collimation. And I seem to think I was absolutely blown away by the quality of these when I was at school because I know nowadays the first thing people want to know is how do you connect a smartphone adapter to it and how can you take images of Jupiter etc but back then you just reveled in the, ex the excitement at seeing the stars that you've never seen before and where I lived out in the middle of nowhere the, the Milky Way was easily, easily visible to the naked eye and when you looked at it through these it was almost this three-dimensional wealth of stars that just, just blew me away. And so if ever you're getting into astronomy, don't, don't worry about telescopes with ridiculous high magnification and getting yourself all upset trying to photograph the Moon and Jupiter and Saturn. Just get a nice little pair of binoculars, 8x40s, 10x50s, 7x50s, etc. As long as they're in reasonable order, just look around the night sky, the rich uh, field star clusters, you'll, you'll be amazed with what, what you can see with a set of binoculars. And these, um, they have a distinctive smell to them, which definitely takes me back to childhood. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into the quality of optics because that would be unfair to comment when you compare them to binoculars of nowadays, but they are a very solid build. Probably not, not the lightest 8x40s you've ever met, ever handled, but you know, there's no plastic sort of rubber type body to these. This is like a full metal jacket. And you probably notice the little winged eye cups I got pretty much at the same time. <coughs> Excuse me. And they really do help cut out that side light. So, you know, when you look through them, there's probably just a hint of internal misting appearing, but, but the they're perfectly usable and they are absolutely spot on 100% in collimation so keep looking around the auction sites and if you see a pair of Hilkin 8x40 binoculars by all means go for them and I remember you can see by the wear there I got a tripod adapter with them that's long gone AWOL because with this old style you can't actually fit a tripod adapter in there so it had to be these old style ones that clamped on around the centre column there to hold them in, in place but yeah I um, I actually took them out the other night and yes I could see the craters on the moon with them the larger ones and just see a couple of the moons around Jupiter and that's just with a simple cheap pair of binoculars that were about 15 quid back then and uh, were probably about 10 or 15 quid nowadays and just a quick look at the box no, no soft nylon case here Nice sturdy box, looking a bit sorry for itself, it needs a bit of a clean up, but there you are, that's a little bit of a, a thank you video and a quick look at where it all started for me in astronomy. These introduced me to the night sky. So thank you very much for watching, as always, and please check out the links in the description below.